Hey guys, I've split this video up into two parts because it's going to take quite a while. But just quickly, the main aim we're trying to find for these two videos is the net pressure and the net force acting on this wall. So we're going to get pressure from all this water and this flow through here, from through the soil. Pressure this way and pressure this way. We're then going to be able to find the net force acting on this wall. So I've split it up into two parts just to break it down very nicely. So just in part one in this video, the objective is going to be to find the head at every EP point, to find the elevation at all those EP points, and to find the pore water pressure at every EP point. And we'll see in the next video how we're going to use this table to help us find the total force. Okay, so all we do is, is I've done a table of EP, so EP1234, EP1234, so on. We're going to be finding the head value at all those points. So we've actually done this before in the previous video videos. If you want to go and revise that, I recommend you do, but I'm just going to take the values for now. We know that the head at EP1 is 3 meters. We know the head at EP2 is 2.64 meters. Okay, and I'm just going to fill in the rest. We have 2 point, so at EP3 it's 2.28, at EP4 it's 1.92. At EP5, it's 1.56. At EP6, it's 1.2. At EP7, it's 0.84 and 0.5 at EP8. So 0.84 and 0.5. Okay, so there is our table of head. We're now going to find the elevation of all these points. So, and this is above our datum. So EP1, if we were to come and measure this off, above our datum, it's around one centimeter, which in our scale is one meter. So Z is in meters. It's one meter above our datum. The point two, EP2, pretty much comes into our datum. Okay, so it's actually at our datum. So EP2 is zero meters. Um, the elevation.